So I was having some trouble with my temperatures getting too hot right from the start. It was going right past my set point. It wouldn't come back down. So I called the manufacturer and I did a video chat with a rep. And so that means she could see exactly what was going on through the video recording. Right away, she told me when I opened the door to the pit boss, she saw the foil at the bottom. She said, nope, you want to take that out immediately. You never really want to put foil in the bottom of any of the verticals or horizontal pit bosses. That can cause a problem with grease pooling up and creating a grease fire, which actually I believe that did happen to me a few months ago when I did that video that was fully loading out this pit boss. I currently now have at the bottom of this pit boss a area where it is pretty much burned and it's charred to the point to where I can't even pressure wash that stuff off. I would probably have to use a grinder. Well, I don't want to do that because I'll end up taking paint off. So um, it's pretty much just it is what it is at this point. I know that's not what everybody wants to hear because like myself, I put the foil down to try and keep from having so much to clean up. But that's not what the representative wanted to see. So if I was you and I did it myself, I took the foil out. I won't be doing that from here on. The next thing I was told is to pretty much do your best to always try and keep water in the pan at the very bottom. You know, not only is that helping the proteins that you're smoking to keep moisture, that also helps keep temperatures regulated. So you could use the one that comes in the bottom of the pit boss, and you could also use your own foil container, put water in that, and that'll give you an extra backup. Now that's going to take up an extra slot, but if you're not cooking that much, you know, Adding an extra pan in there with water definitely is going to help. The next thing that she pointed out that was uh, considered a mistake on my behalf is that the exhaust stack, you always want to see two fingers of daylight. You really don't want to close this all the way down unless you're in really cold temperatures, which we don't get here in Texas. She mentioned the only time that you would really want to bring that exhaust stack down lower is if you are in some extreme cold temperatures and your controls are not able to get to the set point because it's just going too low. The next thing that the manufacturer mentioned is upon startup, go ahead and set it to the smoke mode, which is the lowest temperature. I believe it's set for 130. Set it to that, let it get to that temperature, and then you can increase onto your set point. Previously, what I had been doing was go set it right at 300, do a burn off, then back it down. And I was having problems because it took me like three or four times for it to actually back down. It just kept climbing. I had to turn the thing off, cycle power down, unplug it, all this stuff. So to keep in line with what they told me, I'll probably just set it straight to the smoke mode, let that get there, and then move on to my set points. If you're having trouble getting your set point to work, what I found is that if I push the screen, I can change my temperature set point, and then I can go back and push it again on the screen and it'll stay in the setting. If I take my palm and push straight in, I can sometimes get it to work and set the new set point. However, if you don't want to deal with all that headache, just use your touch screen. And I got one last thing before we go. When you're done with your cook, the proper way to shut this down is to hold it in. Hold down the power button until you see that message. It's going to go through a shutdown process. Make sure you let it finish that process before you unplug this. If you found this video informative, go ahead and do me a favor and hit the like. And if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe. I sure appreciate it. Hey, this is Todd of Lone Star Smoke. We'll see you next time.